This is Joey Atlas back with another episode of not the Fitness Whisperer, but the new name, the Fitness Truth Podcast. And we'll get more into the reasoning behind that on either the next episode or the episode after. Uh, but in short, it's very fitting that uh, the truth is shared and hence stepping up to the Fitness Truth name of the podcast. With me today, I ha if you're watching on the video version, uh, you can see I have a guest. Actually, let me make sure, Stephanie, that we're in double view together. Uh, view, speaker, gallery. Here we go. Did the view change for you at all? Does it nope. look different? No? You could, you could see you or me or both. Okay, cool. All right, Joey Atlas here back with the Fitness Truth Podcast with Stephanie Green, a returning not only cellulite success story, but several other things. Welcome back, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. So we're going to cover some good stuff today. What, so somebody might be thinking, why, why is she back on the podcast? A returning success story, uh, cellulite health, fitness mindset guest. What's going on here? So let's set the context here. Um, anybody who's watching or listening brand new, uh, if you want to see our first episode, Depending on where this is posted right now, uh, you will see a link below here to both the audio version and the video version of the first episode that Stephanie, Stephanie and I recorded together. Uh, it was mainly focused on her, I think it was 85% improvement in cellulite, plus all the other really profound health and wellness benefits that you experienced in that first phase of uh, if I remember right, starting with naked beauty and then jumping up to total access. Right. And then I had the DVD, um, one in between. Right. Right. Okay. So naked beauty DVD, and then jumping up to total access for all the goodies and programs. Right. Yep. All right. So if you're tuning in here, um, welcome, you will want to go write this down. Uh, or check below if you're watching the video version, if you're, if you're watching or listening to this on my blog, you will go to get the freebies and you will go to get future podcast updates at www.joeyatlas.live. That's W, you got to type in the www. My name, joeyatlas.live. You go sign up for the free Toned at Home program. And you'll also get links to the YouTube channel, the podcast videos, the podcast audios, and a bunch of other goodies that we have for you. So you don't miss anything because we got a lot of good stuff coming. There's a lot of stuff already waiting for you to dig into and benefit from, and a lot of stuff coming down, down the pipe. So uh, you can watch that first episode with Stephanie. How did we get to a second episode? Stephanie, I, I'm going to have you tell how we ended up getting to this second episode. All right. So you made so many improvements, so much progress that we reviewed and talked about in that first episode. And then you went on your way. That was about, I want to say four and a half months ago, give or take, right? September. Yeah, I think it was September. Okay. So you went on your way to continue. Uh, and what, it, what has happened since then, actually, let me read your text really quick, because this really sets the stage. And then I'll have you describe what has happened since we left off and what brought us back to this episode right now. Cool? Sounds good. All right. Uh, so I'm going to read Stephanie's uh, recent text that was part of how we ended up doing this. All right. So she reached out. I responded and she'll give you context why. And I said, hey, why don't we cover this on a podcast episode? Because this is really perfect. This is great material. So um, I texted her, okay, let's aim for Thursday, 1 p.m. your time, 2 p.m. mine, looking forward to it. Just send me a short list here of improvements you've seen and feel since our last interview. Thank you. So Stephanie replied, thank you. I am seriously so thankful for you and your workouts. Okay. Improvements since we last spoke, which was about four and a half months ago, right? Yep. I would say my cellulite is now 96% gone. <laughs> Very <perfect. laughs> do, you, do you know how awesome that is? Like, you know how many women want to, like, are dying to find what we're talking about right now? Yeah. 
Okay, that's why we're doing this. Because if we don't talk about this and create these materials, there's nothing to find. Like they're still out there, like looking for all these crazy devices and lotions and and damaging themselves and the list goes on. All right, it's it is just that spot above my knee and inner thighs that you want to talk about. Even my backside, uh, where I had some deep ones, are gone. Like butt cellulite, dimples and ripples gone. <laughs> I had my husband check to make sure <laughs> I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I love that. This is so good. Side note, I have started making organic grass fed and finished bone broth and drinking it every day. As I heard that that can help restore connective tissue, et cetera. I wonder if that helped as well. Yes. So I'll give you a short answer. Any, anything we can bring into our bodies with food-based amino acids, which are the building blocks of the structures of our body is valuable. So clean grass-fed broths, uh, whether it's beef, chicken, fish, et cetera, um, those are food-based sources of very high quality amino acids, which are the building blocks of the new proteins that become our bodies, right? Really good mm -hmm. to mention that. Overall, I look leaner. My dad commented on how thin I looked and said I looked good. Overall, feel stronger physically as well. Each exercise I can do better with more focus and strength. My shoulders have been feeling better and I haven't been doing the, I haven't even been doing the shoulder specific exercises as much as I've wanted to. But I think the other exercises help in general with that as well. Yes, they do. And I know you've been doing the stretching because you say here. And lastly, I have really, I have really been enjoying your stretching routines and try to do extra stretching a few days a week. Thanks again, exclamation point. The stretching is huge. Like a lot of people underestimate the, the importance of flexibility, mobility, range of motion, range of motion training through the stretching videos. Uh, and, and they not only do they make you feel better, which you're experiencing, but they also help with the results we get from the actual training. If we're okay. looking for more toning, cellulite reduction, smoothing, tightening, sculpting, et cetera, the stretching has a synergistic effect and uh, an, an augmenting uh, effect to help improve results. Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of people don't know that because we're actually, when we're stretching, we're stimulating and activating fascia, connective tissue, tendons, ligaments, uh, even nerves too. The nerves benefit from our stretching and flexibility sessions. Right. So there's a synergy here involved in that. Most most trainers, let alone people, never even talk about that as something that can give you better results. That's why uh, even as of now, uh, there's there's as you know, there are plenty of stretching, flexibility, range of motion sessions in total access. And that's by design. That's intent, very intentional. So awesome text. Thank you for sharing all that. Um, so let's have you describe what has happened since September, our last interview, and what took us to this point of you reaching out and here we are on the podcast. Take it away. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Relax and enjoy. Just talk casually. Okay, sounds good. Um, so since September, um, I've been trying to stick pretty, you know, good with it. There was, you know, around Christmas or Thanksgiving time when I just didn't exercise mm -hmm. or just a little micro yep. workouts or sometimes it'd be even I'm in my shower doing squats. <laughs> That's so good. This is awesome. Yeah. You get it. You get the micro set uh, concept, right? Well, I'm like any movement, you know, yes. and, well, you know, get the, getting that lymphatic system flowing and figure it's got to help. It's not going to yep. hurt. So. No, just activating like th those micro sets, right? Mm -hmm. Most people would think, well, you can't do one or two sets and get results from that, right? So most mm -hmm. people don't do it because they don't know it. But in the scheme of things, and you see how I do them, like they're very intentional. Like we're going to hold, we're going to move super slowly. Some of them are even hold positions, right? Mm -hmm. But in the shower, you could do a micro set or a stealth set, right? And you're going to, you feel it, right? You feel yeah. like, yeah, I'm doing something here. So we're like taking advantage of, okay, busy schedule. Where can we, where can we put in a micro set or, you know, a stealth set shower, 
cooking dinner. You could knock them out, knock one or two out in the kitchen while you're making dinner, right? Between the day. This, right, exactly. <laughs> so they fit anywhere mm -hmm. and um, they activate nerves, fascia, muscles, connective tissue, ligaments, tendons, right? So it's like this micro dose of all the things we need, right? Now, here's, this is important. And I think you get this already. We're not doing like, okay, we're going to do burpees for 30 seconds, right? No, we're not doing burpees for 30 seconds. We're doing the intentional style of very slow, controlled. Some of them are hold pause movements, right? In the isometric position right. as our microset, big, big difference. So you've been taking advantage of those. All right, go ahead. Back to it. Where do you leave off? Yeah. Well, speaking of the burpees real quick, I just thought it was funny because somebody just this week mentioned to me how they're like looking into hit hits, you know, <laughs> high intensity stuff. And then they're like, what do you do? And I go, I do low intensity <laughs> interval training. And then, and then he's like, oh, so do you do like burpees? And I was like, <laughs> no, burpees are evil. <laughs> and like, I do the Joey's or yeah. the T-Buds. <laughs> awesome. Did and that... so I show them how to do it. And <laughs> so anyway. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. One convert at a time, right? <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. Simple. But um, so anyway, so then I have just been trying to do those things. And then since kind of after Christmas, because Christmas was bad, too many carbs, too many carbs. For all of us. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Understood. Really, really puffy. But anyways, <laughs> so I realized like, I really want to be intentional, intentional about my nutrition, too. Um, so that's another big factor that's been playing into it. I've been almost religious about my nutrition routine and, and stuff. So, um, but yeah. And so then the other day I was just looking, I had my shorts on, we have a wood stove. So even though it's one degree, I can wear shorts. And right. <laughs> I get it. So I had my shorts on. I was like, Oh, there's just the one spot softball size kind of right above my knee. Um, and then that's why I reached out to you. I was like, is there any exercise that can target kind of this area? Cause I've been doing the inner thigh that I think is the April 22nd replay that you mentioned that does do more focusing on the inner thigh. Right. Um, so I've been doing that about once, once or so a week. Okay. Um, and then I'll also sometimes include, you know, those inner thigh exercises in addition to my other ones that right. I do. If you're not focusing on those that day. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so I kind of um, was just hoping to have something really specific for that area. Um, and then I was just kind of like, well, he'll probably want to know at what <laughs> what percentage I'm at as far as cellulite reduction. So I was looking in the mirror and um, was like turned around because I have, like I mentioned before, those deep ones yeah. below my, my glutes. And I was like, I don't see them anymore unless it's just the lighting, but I don't see them anymore. So that's when I had my husband come in and I'm like, are they like, is it gone? What's going on back there? <laughs> and he's like, he's like looking really like intently. And he's like, yeah, I really don't see anything except for right here. Like where I mentioned before. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. He, he confirmed it official. Yes. <laughs> All right. So when you started, like, remind me when you, before you even started again all this we, we reveal a lot of the details in the first episode how would you describe your cellulite before you found me and before you got started on this new way of fitness training i mean it was i hadn't realized it until that point when i kind of was finding you like i didn't really look at my legs a whole lot in fact i covered them up probably okay. because like i knew they didn't look the greatest yeah yeah but then I realized that, oh my gosh, they look very, very untoned, like they're uh, lacking muscle tone. Mm -hmm. And then just the, the really shadowy and dimply um, all around my leg, really, on my, on my thighs. And my the thighs, fronts, backs, the glutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so like, would you describe things as kind of like sort of soft and, and, and like not shapely? Yes, it was very, um, like my inner thighs were very not great. <laughs> and then my, <laughs> my glutes, um, again, were just kind of flat and flat sagging a bit. 
Yeah. I mean, not like terrible sagging, but just like when I'm wearing my jeans, like there's really not a butt there. Right. Like Understood. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there was definite atrophy going on. Um, when there's atrophy of the, the large muscles, all of the support structures sag too. Right. So all the, all the, and most people don't talk about this. You like, you rarely hear about this, the, um, connective tissue, um, fascia, uh, neural development, um, ligaments, tendons, you know, that, that connect everything, all that stuff sags, like everything droops. Right. And so if you were to continue, like all that would just keep getting worse. This, that, that's what aging does. It makes whatever's getting bad worse with the passage of time. So it's not so much the age of a person. It's the passing of time that they're not doing anything or the right things right. that just keep making it worse. And I have, you know, women that reach out like in their fifties and sixties, they're like, I give up. I like just, I'm hiring you, please. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to try. It's like, everything just gets worse no matter what I do. Right. And for me, the, the reasons are obvious, but to them, they're just scattered all over the place. They're pinballing from this diet to that Zumba hit program to this boot camp blaster to these new DVDs, having them jump around the living room like crazy. Right. And they tried the trainers and they tried these crazy, like local meta spa, $5,000 laser packages or vacuum body wrap packages or or sculpt freezing packages those get women nowhere i've never had anybody come to me and say oh yeah i did one of those and it worked check me out never ever they yeah. come to me and say i tried it waste of money i look worse mm -hmm. so why do we say all this because anybody listening brand new we want to give you context and hope that's why we that's why we jumped on this podcast to give me an opportunity to give stephanie more direction and the things that she now wants to further improve beyond the 96 percent cellulite improvement and so um here's what we're going to do so here we are it's february early february right i went and took a look at your activity logs in the videos for the last couple of weeks. Now that doesn't mean you might not be doing something on a DVD without playing the video in total access um, or by memory without, you know, referring into total access. So I'll ask. So, so what I saw was I saw like you you, you played a bunch of different videos. I saw uh, booming buns, gorgeous glutes at least once or twice in the last few weeks. Uh, I think I saw a naked beauty once or twice. Um, so here's what I'll ask you. How would you describe recently and like, as you see from here going forward, the frequency of number of times doing lower body in like a one week period of time? Let's hmm. start there. Yeah, I try to do kind of like every other session do like I'll start with the lower body and then I'll, the next day I'll do abs and arms okay, or something like that. Or I'll do the fusion sometimes with your, your trainer gals, Corinne, right. Uh, um, they kind of do all of it. The total body fusion. Yeah. So I would, I would do like legs and then I would do the total, uh, you know, total body with the legs and then abs and arms. So I would kind of rotate. Okay. Um, so that's what I've been kind of been doing. And then if I, don't use your video. Usually I focus on my legs. If I'm just going off of memory, sometimes right. I do. Arm too and okay. Okay. And I got it. Awesome. So, so a couple of things, All right? First, I looked at the photo you sent me. Um, and speaking of photos, being that we're at 96% now, probably going to be even a little better by the time spring and summer hit in your area. Remind us where, where, where do you guys live? Minnesota. Minnesota. All right. So definitely cold there right now. Right, as we record this in February, uh, when spring summer hit hits and you're ready to put the bikini on, right? Cause you're going to be right. <laughs> if it ever gets to be summer again. <laughs> yeah, it, it will. So when it does, you're, you're up for wearing a bikini this time around yeah. this summer, right? All right, cool. So if cool with you, we'd love to get some like progress photos, like you kids and hubby hanging beach pool, wherever lake, with the bikini on, right? Cool? 
Okay. All right. <laughs> It, no, it'll inspire others like they're because they're thinking right now, well, I want to see photos of this lady like, you know, that's how women are like, especially if we're strangers to them. They're like, all right, like, where's the photos of her in a bikini out there? Like, let's see. <laughs> well, well, we're going to bring them. Don't worry. We're going to bring them. They're going to be we're going to link to them once once uh, summer rolls around. All right. Cool. That sounds good. OK, so the photo you sent me saying, hey, here's what the area circled. I love that, by the way. <laughs> I have clients do that. When I coach um, certain clients with the remote coaching program, sometimes we have to operate that way. Like, all right, take a photo of it. If I can't easily see something in their before photos or their progress photos, I have them do a markup. Like, okay, I want you to point out what it is you're talking about so I'm not overlooking what you're trying to relay to me in terms of specifics. So um, what you did is very common. So I look at that. The first thing I do is I'm, I'm taking in what you're saying and asking, how do I focus on this and improve it? Right. The other part is let uh, I'm automatically like second nature is to look at your genetic body structure. Okay. We're all different. Everybody's different, right? There could be another woman, same age as you, same height as you, same weight as you, and you can both have very different bodies. They could both be great, but they can be very different in how they're structurally put together. Okay. There's no, not, there's not better or worse. They're just different. Okay. So looking at that photo, I say, okay, like, I want to make sure that we're being realistic here. Okay. So there can definitely be improvements made in that, in that zone that you circled, but also keep in mind that I can see you have a slightly thicker knee joint structure, okay? Which means there are parts of it that we can't, can't change. Like we can't change the width of your knee structure. We can change some of the, the skin thickness because of the fat content and the water content and stuff. But there are certain structural aspects that we can't change, okay? Which means... All right. So let's say worst case scenario from today forward, I'm only going to stay at night, <laughs> only going to stay at 96% improvement, right? It's not a bad deal. No. Right. Okay. Now that being said, I know we can make some improvements just by me seeing your training logs, what you shared with me just now and what we can still implement. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what I would like you to do. You let, and you say, you let me know if this is realistic or not. On the days you do lower body, how much time do you have to do it? I know you homeschool the kids, right? Still? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How much time do you have to, to devote to the lower body days? And it doesn't have to be all at once. It could be like two broken up sessions through the day, whatever. Yeah. I usually, with the stretching in the lower body, I usually like an hour. So. All at once? Usually, yeah. Okay. And then I have to shower again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, okay. So, so you might like this. You might not, you might love it. Here's, and I've, I've given this thought before we, before we jumped on here. All right. What I would propose, and let's say this is just for a few months. This doesn't have to be, this isn't forever. Like, you know, my, tr my programs are variable. They could change throughout the seasons to ebb and flow with your lifestyle demands, et cetera. So this isn't forever. This will just be until you feel, ooh, okay, we, we made something happen here. Okay, now we could go to maybe maintenance mode, right? Back to the way you've been doing things or closer to it if you want to. Sure. What, I, what I wrote down here was something that looks like this. And I'm going to use days of the week to make this easier for context, but this doesn't actually have to happen on these specific days of the week, all right? So let's say Monday, you were to do the naked beauty routine. When you do naked beauty, how many times through do you do it? Um, well, it depends on how much time I have. I haven't done those for a little while unless I'm pressed on time. Okay. Um, usually just the ones. And I just take it slow. And sometimes I put in a few extra reps. But Okay. Okay. So here's what I'd propose. Let's, let's make the first day of this rotation, let's say hypothetically it's going to be a Monday, but it might be a Wednesday or Tuesday or whatever. You do Naked Beauty two or three times through, okay. like the original 
rough around the edges recording naked beauty mm-hmm. okay two or three times through and then you add some if you whatever stretching routine you want to add to that that's your choice okay. I, you, I, you can't pick a bad one because they're all pretty good mm-hmm. right um now stick with me here and if if you want you can write this down or I could, I could write this, what I have here in some notes later and send it to you. Okay. Okay. Tuesday, let's say you do that Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, you're going to focus on another body zone. So it might be biceps, triceps, and shoulders. It might be, it might be chest and back focus. It might be abs and core focus, or it might be a combination of two of those groups together. You know, you know what I'm talking about because yep. we've got the individual videos for the body zones, right? Yep. Okay, so let's say hypothetically Tuesday is uh, abs, core, and shoulders. Mm-hmm. Wednesday would be chest and back. Okay. And maybe biceps, triceps. I'm going to give you a few options here, okay? The key is that the the fourth day in the rotation is back to the lower body okay so monday lower body naked beauty right tuesday example would be something uh, mid body upper body wednesday again upper body an up, upper body zone or two thursday would be going to back to the lower body right and so example would be ultimate leg butt hip and thigh makeover Level one, standing and mat session. That's doable, right? Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're, we, we're, we're going for the gold here, right? Oh. All the way. Okay. So then if that's Thursday, Friday would be what we did Tuesday, Wednesday. We picked some upper body zones mm-hmm. Friday. Saturday, we picked the other upper body zones that we don't, didn't do Friday. And Sunday, we're back to lower body. Okay. And that would be like you choosing like booming buns, tightly toned thighs, gorgeous glutes, the other uh, beautiful buns, uh, legs for life. You know which ones I'm talking about from from total access, right? And with that session, which you can do for any session really, but, but this one is where like it, I said, okay, like on this, this third lower body day of this rotation that we're putting together, I want you to pick like some of your favorite micro set exercises. So when you said earlier, you've noticed the inner thigh exercises I do with the towel squeezed between my knees and thighs. Yep. If you feel those are doing something for you, then use that as one of your micro sets that you top off this third lower body session of the rotation. Okay. Okay. The other micro set that is kind of like mandatory in this for, for like laser targeting the thing you circled in that photo, the, uh-huh. the lower inner thigh knee area, you know, the, the, the knee ups, we got two versions of the knee ups where we're on all fours and you're doing, you got the double leg easier knee ups. Mm-hmm. Then we, we have the one leg version, which is definitely more advanced. How are you with the advanced single leg knee ups? I've been doing those, the advanced ones. Okay. So that is really going to help us like put the icing on the cake for that area you're talking about. So I want you to include that definitely once through the rotation as a micro set add on, but maybe twice a week. You're, you're thinking of that, oh, let me knock out a set, attach it on the end of Naked Beauty here, Okay. right? <clears throat> what I would like you to do, though, when you're doing it is play with your, your foot and, and knee angle a little bit okay. so that, for example, some people feel that if they point their toes and knees outward a little bit instead of like sort of straight outward a little bit, and they do that exercise, they feel it more on the inner lower thigh area. Okay. Okay. So a lot of people are not conscious of that. They're just doing it the way I'm showing on the video, which is kind of like more uh, of a straightforward, more neutral position. Sure. 
and just turning out like literally just a little bit and you'll, you'll do it. You'll get a sense for, Ooh, okay. This feels like I'm in the zone here. This is good. And it's literally just a few degrees outward. It's not drastic. Um, you'll feel a little bit more emphasis on that area. You should feel a little more emphasis on that area you circled in the photo. Okay. That okay. Sounds, yeah. So, 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 so some of this is broad picture, right? Changes that I would suggest. And some of these, like the micro sets and the one legged knee up is very specific. Yes. Okay. So we got two layers of suggestions for you. And again, I'm going to put these uh, in an email or a document and send this to you either this evening or tomorrow. Okay, that'd be great. Can okay. I ask a question quick? Absolutely. Um, why, I'm just curious, uh, why every two, every, well, two days in between the legs instead of every other? Because I would like them to be more intense, which okay. means I would like you to have more recovery time okay. between them. Sure. Okay, cool. That makes sense. All right. Awesome. So, and does this sound doable so far? It does. It's okay. kind of nice to have a, a very specific goal in mind for each week. Yes. Yes. H have you seen any of the sample schedules, like the eight day and the nine day in inside total access? I did, and then I don't know where they are now. <laughs> so. Okay. So I'm 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 going to send you the direct links to those. Okay. If you log into Total Access. How, how do you how do you usually access it? Laptop, tablet, phone? My laptop. Laptop. Okay. What the first page when you log into Total Access? That's basically like the whole library in front of you. Yeah. If you scroll down, you start to see everything. Yep. And we're working on improving the sections. Like we're gonna add a stretching flexibility section so that all the stretching mobility videos are in one place. Yeah. Labeled stretching, flexibility, range of motion, mobility. Um, as you scroll down, you'll see, uh, you'll see in the personal training uh, section, the several current sample schedules are there. I think there's four of them now. There's a five day, a six day, an oh, eight day, and a nine day. Yeah, yeah, I have seen those. I have done some of those too. Yeah. Okay, cool. So future reference, those might come in handy for you. We got more that we're going to be putting in there. Um, so that answers the why this many days in between. I want more intensity on the lower body days. Hence, we'll need a little more recovery time. You can use the recovery days however you want to. I say recovery for lower body. Like You could even do this. Let's say, well, I would like to you know, not spend as much time on the on those days in between the lower bodies okay so here's what you can do and this this doesn't have to be the same every time through the cycle you you can change it and be flexible just like you have been okay so example let's say the first lower body day is monday tuesday can be abs core mm -hmm. wednesday can be chest back thursday can be back to the lower body Right. Thursday back to left. Friday can be shoulders. Mm -hmm. Saturday can be biceps, triceps. Okay. All right. So it's that. So what does that look like? Lower body, abs, core, chest, back, lower body, uh, shoulders, biceps, triceps, back to lower body. Mm -hmm. If you only want to do the upper body zones once in in a, this is almost like a one week rotation. And again, it could change each week. Like it, it, it doesn't have to be the same. Um, that would be up to you. If you want to like double up on some of those days in between to get certain upper body zones in more than once, totally cool. Yeah, okay. Does that all sound reasonable? Yeah, it does. Okay. So here, check this out. Stick with me here. Pe like people would think, well, okay, so Sunday I'm doing lower body, but what do I do Monday? Because I just did lower body Sunday. What happens is we just keep going on the same type of rotation. If, if we do lower body on a Sunday where we're doing either the boom and buns, tightly toned thighs, gorgeous glutes, one of those with the micro sets added on, mm -hmm. Monday obviously isn't gonna be lower body again. We just happen to start this week on a, on a Monday. That's when our first lower body day was. 
this Monday that comes around is going to be one of those upper body zones again. Right. Tuesday will be the, another upper body zone. Wednesday of this week is going to be lower body instead of Thursday that it was last week. Right. So it just becomes an ongoing rotation that's not tied to a day of the week. It's dictated by the schedule itself, right? That makes which sense. dictates which days it falls on. And so, yeah. as I tell everybody, everybody in total access, all of my private coaching clients, if you miss a day because life gets in the way and you, let's say you couldn't even do any micro sets, fine. You're just going to pick up on the next day where you left off. Okay. That doesn't mean Stephanie can't say, well, I really want to make sure that I stay on the lower body rotation without missing a beat on that. So I'll sacrifice an upper body zone session since I missed yesterday. And I want to make sure I get my lower body in and then I'll, I'll do upper body tomorrow and I'll do a few extras for what I missed yesterday. Yeah. Right. I'll add something in some micro sets for the shoulders in addition to chest and back. Right. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. So is that all helpful so far? It is. Yeah. All right. And again, I'm going to, I'm going to take my chicken scratch notes and I'm going to type them into a, a doc to put this all on there. Uh, so you have it for easy reference. And then if yeah. you have any questions on that, when I send you just, you know, email me back. All right. So, so far, does that all, does that all seem doable or am I presenting something that's not like feasible? Oh, it, it makes sense. So okay. it makes sense to, to push my legs a little harder. Yes. Yes. Let them rest. Okay. Yes. And I, so, so now that that's all good, here's the, the, the next layer of this. Let's say you get through, not let's say, but let's assume you got through this first rotation. The next rotation comes around, right? Mm -hmm. Your first lower body day is going to be, have, have you done the, um, the advanced progressions for Naked Beauty the, to the max and the sequel that I take Laura and Corinne through? Um, I think so. Yes. Okay. So the next cycle through your first lower body day is going to be those two videos to the max and the sequel, which are the advanced progression sessions for naked beauty. And if you have time, you're going to add one go through of naked beauty that, that might all take you an hour. Those three together might take an hour, maybe, Okay. but you can definitely get them in, 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 in less, just under an hour, maybe even less. Okay. Does that sound doable? And I'm going to, I'm going to put this on paper for you. So it's, you don't have to remember this. Sure. Thank but you. My point is that the next rotation is going to be varied. Mm -hmm. So the first rotation on Thursday, we did ultimate leg, butt, hip and thigh makeover level one mm -hmm. mat and standing the next rotation through when that second lower body day comes, you're doing ultimate leg, butt, hip and thigh makeover level two combo instead of level one yes okay makes sense yes. and, and then the third lower body day on that next rotation through you'll choose another one of the um lower body sessions that are in total access whether it's boom and buns tightly toned thighs legs for life gorgeous glutes there's there's probably about four or five or six other lower body sessions in there now that you're familiar with that you can choose from for that third lower body session. Plus you'll add whatever micro sets you want, which must include the one leg single leg knee up. Yeah. Okay. Does that all make sense? And I'm, again, I'm going to put this down on paper. So you're not having to memorize this, but I want to make sure that sits yeah. well with you before I. Yeah. So it's going to be the, um, the naked beauty. Well, so for the first week, it'll be the, um, the naked beauty and then two of the upper body and then building on that. So like the level one of the ultimate leg box, butt, hip and thigh, and then upper body for two days and then um, lower body of choice plus some micro sets. And then that next week building on, so and then an upper body, but then when it's leg time, do like the level one or, of that and then the level two of the am i am i doing this right you're getting you're getting close 
That's, this is why I'm going to put it on paper. You, you, track with it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're in the zone. Um, the next time through, we're just doing a progression of what we did the first week through or the first rotation through. It'll just be, but then the third time through, you're going to flip back to the first week. Yes. What you okay. did the first week. So we're just alternating Rotation. level, technically level one, level two. Okay. After that, back down to the level one first week I'm putting together for you. After that, level two. So it's alternating each each rotation through. I'm okay. I'm trying not to say week because these aren't these don't fall perfectly inside of a week, right? Oh, but yeah, there we go. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yes, you've got the gist. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna put this all in an email or document and share it with you. Um what else? Am I leaving anything out or is that? That sounds good. I mean, unless there was anything else, but. Um... No, we're good. You've, I know you're good with the nutrition. Um, your kids are digging my baked apple bliss. Oh man. Okay. So my favorite thing to do, it's a little guilty pleasure, but so I've been having, so the baked apple bliss, but then I put it on top of like plain yogurt and then I put, um, I drizzle some honey on it and like <laughs> crushed up pecans. And yeah. it Oh, good. <laughs> it's awesome. Like, and it's healthy. That's healthy. Oh, well well done. Sure. What's your husband's name again? Dan. Dan. Is Dan into it? Like, is he? Does I've he... got to exercise a few times with me. He always is working. So yeah. it's harder for him to do that with me all the time. But um, Understood. yeah, it... and he eats what I make. So. Right. so does he like the baked apple bliss too? He did. He was a little like the first time I made it, he was like, hmm. But then he tried it. He's like, that was actually pretty good. I'm like, see? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I got a new one going in total access. Hopefully this weekend. I recorded it um, a few, actually, what was it two days ago? Uh, it's a variation. It's berry, very, very, I think I called it very, very baked apple bliss with oats. I mm. can't remember if I even put oats in the first one. Do I have oats in the first one? I don't think so. All right. So I put gluten free sprouted oats in this one. Okay. It's really, really good. Um, I, I mentioned um, the first time we were texting about doing this, like two weeks ago, that day I mentioned I'm, I was trying the pear, the, you called it very, very pear or something when I, when I told you what I was doing. It tasted good, but it came out mushy. The pears, they don't hold up like the apples do. Mm -hmm. I still ate the whole thing because it tasted good, but it's not, I don't know if the texture would be acceptable by many people. Sure. So we'll get a few more variations of the apple ones. I have honey crisp apples uh, for the next one I'm going to do probably on the weekend. So you guys have more baked apple bliss variations to hold you through the winter coming up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So tell Dan, give Dan my thank you for at least trying and acknowledging that, Hey, these are pretty decent. So yeah. maybe he'll like the next variations too. For sure. Um, okay. So I think we're good here. We good? I think we are. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. My pleasure. I'm, I'm glad you were open to doing it this way instead of me just like shooting you an email. Hey, do this, this. It allowed me to really think it through a bit more um, and give you something really solid, not just for short term, but you'll, you'll find that long term, this helps you with picking and choosing sessions from total access, even if you don't want to follow one of the sample schedules that's mapped out in there already, like mm -hmm. this can become your sample schedule and it might become a seasonal thing. Like you might go to what we're putting together here now, like through the winter or parts of the winter before spring hits to really fine tune things to get you in, in the zone that you would consider tip top and feeling good about yourself. Yeah, no, it's great. And it'll give me, I, I go camping a lot in the summer too. And so it'll give me, even if I don't have my phone or something, I can know <laughs> what I can do without right. that. Phone. Right, right. You'll have plenty of memory to, to carry you through what to do on the road. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Okay, so that's good. You can expect an email from me tonight or tomorrow once I get this all in summary format. Uh, anybody watching or listening, if you want to see... Um, the previous episode where Stephanie shared her early, not just cellulite success and progress, but there were so many other things that 
you, you made progress on in terms of your health, the issues you were dealing with, um, the odd orders you got from the doctor to not do much. Like, right, we, no, that wasn't going to work for you, right? <laughs> but the traditional style of training and working out also was not going to work because you already tried that. It, it already did some damage to you previously. So it's, it's definitely an episode worth watching or listening to. So if you want that, you're going to go to www.joeyatlas.live to get all the freebies, the free toned at home starter program and uh, other updates and links for the podcast, the YouTube video channel, the video versions and other freebies and goodies we have coming your way. If you're interested in anything that we spoke about, such as Naked Beauty, such as total access, all the fat burning body composition changing recipes, uh, the health boosting materials. Again, just go to joeyatlas.live. From there, you will get all the links you need to come as far as you want. And the, 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 the sky's the limit really once you get started, even just with the freebies, you go as far as you want with all this. So follow through, share any of this you want to with anybody that you could think of who can benefit from hearing, learning what we shared today, learning from the free materials we share. And I would think possibly we might do another update when, when you're able to have enough time to implement what we talked about, right, Stephanie, and see how far that takes you. And we can revisit maybe then what improvements have occurred, again, to inspire people that when you're on the right program, really, really good, positive things can happen. As you know, this was important in the beginning, without killing yourself, yeah. without torturing yourself, yeah. without running yourself into the ground, mm -hmm. and without feeling like you're going crazy to try and get any kind of results in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. It's the exact opposite. We've simplified everything. Right. It's and actually made, very meditative and very calming, but yet um, it does work you, so... Right. So I love that you point that out. There, there is a calming effect. A lot of people say that sometimes they say it's part, part has to do with the approach and also my, my voice and my demeanor. I don't know about the voice thing, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take my, my demeanor and, and attitude and presentation for sure. Um, all right. Give Dan my regards. Really thank him for just supporting you. Like I know some, some spouses, partners out there, don't make it so easy for their spouse and partner to stick to a healthy fit lifestyle. Um, and that's, that's a dynamic in and of itself that needs to be addressed. So I thank Dan for being supportive of you, giving your time, space and, and um, support needed to keep you on track. So give him my thanks, please. Will do. Yeah. And look out for that email. This is Joey Atlas uh, signing off for the Fitness Truth Podcast. We'll see you on the next episode. Sending peace, love, and light out to everybody, including you guys there, Steph. Love to the kids. Tell them Joey Atlas says hey, and he's got more baked apple bliss coming. All right? All right. Thank you so All much, right. Joey. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye.